Hey, yeah, what's up guys? Grown Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break. One of my faves, one of my monthly faves that is. You guys know I love sub boxes on here. Uh, I probably love my own above all else, the GTH box, uh, which is like my spoof sub box. But we're actually not doing a GTH box today. We're doing one of my faves, guys. We are going to do the Grand Slam Card Club. That's right, it's back. I've had a lot of luck with this product on here. Broke it, I think, since... The inception of this product, which was around September off the top of my head of this past year, I want to say. But I uh, kind of got in the, on the ground floor with this, been opening every box since, uh, or every month since it's been out. And I've had a lot of luck in the past. Hopefully that will continue today. I got two behemoths in the background, hopefully bringing us some luck. Having uh, some really monster years there. Guy in the right's having a heck of a rebound year. And uh, definitely is starting to live up to his potential now. We got the 2019 Topps Chrome X-Fractor rookie of Vladdy. Right, on the left side, also from 2019 Topps Chrome, we got the X Fracture of Fernando Tatis Jr. That's right. Both of those bad boys are, uh, well, one of them is in the card saver, and the others are in the uh, one touch, but uh, they're both going to go off. The plan was to PSA, but uh, you guys know what's, what's up with that, and they're still in the delays and this and that, so I'm just kind of debating what I want to do, but they are going to be slabbed for sure. Um, my honest hunch with both of those, I looked them over pretty well, and they both looked like, honestly, PSA 10s. So uh, those are something I'm definitely going to slab up, and you guys will see at some point on the channel in slabs. I just don't know which company at this point. But uh, anyway, guys, enough of that talk. Hopefully those two behemoths bring us some luck here. The Grand Slam Card Club, this is the All-Star Premium Level uh, box. I believe this comes in at a price of about uh, $135 or so. GrandSlamCardClub.com right there. I will put the links in the description as always. I believe my promo code is still valid. You guys can use that if you want to try this out for yourselves. Uh, get yourself 5% off of your first box. Uh, the promo code is G-R-O-W-I-N and the number one. So grow in one. That will get you 5% off of your first order. And unless they've changed anything, they do sub boxes all the way down to about $20. So it's affordable for anybody. They can You can kind of build it around whatever you want. They go from Roughly $20 to in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So uh, this one's kind of like, you know, right in the mid to upper tier. And uh, like I said, yeah, I've had a lot of luck. And let's see what we got this month. So a couple little pack and peanuts there on the top. The literature that used to be in here has stopped. I've noticed that there used to be a little kind of insert here to just kind of let you know what's what. Uh, that hasn't been in here in the last couple of months, but that's okay. I'm pretty familiar with this product by now. Three stacks of cards. Let's pull them all out. Let's see what we get. I'm going to just pull all three stacks out right off the bat, and then we'll go through uh, each of the packs real quick and show you guys what we got, and then we'll get into busting them and see if the luck will continue. So I'll put that up here as long as it cooperates and stays standing up for me. If it falls, I'm just going to probably put it off camera. But uh, yeah, we got three stacks, probably close to 15, if not 15 packs. But here we go. 2021 Bowman Hobby Pack. That is nice. And I am going to tell you guys, even if it drives you nuts, I'm going to tell you what's hobby or retail because you guys should know in case you just don't see the little H's. So I'm going to let you know. And there's our hit that they threw in. A Taylor uh, Guerrero. Very nice there from Bowman Sterling. Nice little autograph card there for the Rays. And that is out of 2011. So obviously uh, nothing really has transpired too much for him there. But a pitcher there in the Rays depth at the time, especially in uh, 2011. So there you go. Nice little throw in. I'll take it, especially in auto any day. Then we got 2021 Series 1. That's a hobby pack. Then we got 2020 Update. That is a hobby pack. There's some old school. Look at this bad boy. Holy heck. I couldn't even tell you off the top of my head here. We got uh, 2003 Series 2. Wow. That is old school. And I don't see the H on there, but I'm not sure if that's a hobby or retail pack because, you know, old school stuff, a lot of times they did not do the H. Uh, so that could be a retail, could be a hobby. Not sure. The, ver the uh, jury's still out on that one. This is a hobby pack, though, however. We got a nice little 2021 Topps Chrome. Or, I'm sorry, 2020, not 2021. I'm already anticipating the uh, upcoming release. But 2020 Topps Chrome hobby pack, very nice. 2020 Bowman Heritage hobby pack, very nice. Online exclusive there. 2021 Heritage, that's a hobby pack. And the 72 design there. How about this one as well? 2015 Series 1. That's a hobby pack. Very nice. And then another old school. We got 2008 uh, Series 2. And that is a definite hobby pack. So some really old school stuff that you don't see too much. I'm going to keep those kind of together. Maybe the old school stuff that you don't see as much. There's a hobby pack of uh, 2020 Stadium Club Chrome. Very nice pack there. 2020 Archives. Very nice as well. It's a hobby pack. 
2021 Series 2 Hobby Pack. 2016 Series 2 Hobby Pack. And last but not least, 2013 Series 2 Hobby Pack. So, honestly, some really, really good stuff, guys. Really, really good stuff. Everything was a Hobby Pack. Uh, and the jury's still out here with the uh, 2003 Series 2. I'm not sure if that's a Hobby Pack or retail. But uh, everything else was a Hobby Pack uh, from this stuff. So, really, really cool stuff. And, and quite honestly, I think I might be actually... More excited to see what I pull out of the old school stuff. I might actually go in kind of reverse order. Keep the older stuff together. Do these maybe last five packs last. And we'll do the kind of modern stuff now. Even though you can maybe get bigger sort of hits per se in the uh, modern stuff. But uh, it's a lot of packs, guys. It is, what I think, 14 packs roughly. Let's see here. So four. Nah, yeah, 14 packs plus that auto. You know, I, I love it, guys. You know. Sometimes the value might not be there and stuff, you know, month to month. But uh, overall, it's an awesome array of packs. I always love the uh, the variation in the packs and stuff. And those old school ones, that's pretty cool. You know, you can't, just can't beat it. So, all right, that being said, let's get into this. And I, I don't even know where to start. Let's just go with, I guess, Heritage. 2021 Heritage. And with everything being a hobby pack, your odds are definitely much increased not exponentially to uh, be able to pull like an autograph or something like that we'll see our 72 design though here chris bubich and tristan mckenzie right off the bat rookie card yelich timmy anderson rafael montero in action of Polly goldschmidt uh, josh stallman tommy hunter we got rookie stars there of cody whitley and roll ramirez and rookie of the year award the jackie robinson award so it's just kind of a picture of the actual uh, award and then list the winners out and stuff like that and i'm sure one of these may have been a short print too i'm not sure or that in action we got a puzzle back there but uh the in action was probably the insert there so puzzle back with the uh the in action all right let's do why don't we do archives i guess we'll kind of do the outliers here and uh then get into like the flagship stuff so 2020 archives let's look for one of those fan favorites autographs that would be cool i'm gonna see cards in the 55 74 and 02 design so here's 74 design, John Lester. If you're thinking of Luis Robert, he's in the 74 design, but he's not going to be in here because we got DJ LeMayu. 02 design, Michael Conforto, Dennis Eckersley, Rod Crew. Then we got our uh, cup winner there of Juan Soto, all star rookie. Bregman in the 55, and Marcus Stroman. So nothing crazy in that pack either, but that's okay. I think we'll do, we'll do Bowman. I don't know. What do we want to do? Bowman. I think we'll save this here. Yeah, let's do Bowman. Let's do Bowman. So I'm going to do the Bowman Hobby Pack from 2021 right off the bat. Looking for Blaze Jordan, Austin Martin, primarily. I mean, there's others for sure. Those are the two. It would be nice to pull the auto, which I believe is, you know, one per hobby box, one in 24. Sam Huff starts us off. A rookie card there. Dalton Varsho, rookie. Brady Singer. Alec Bohm, rookie. And our crumbs. That's a nice one. Brian Hayes. Rookie of the Year favorites, that is a very nice one there. One of the best rookies. Hopefully he picks up his batting average here a little bit more. But uh, very nice refractor there. Beautiful looking card there. Like I said, that's one of the uh, top rookies. You can find him hopefully here in a minute in Series 2. Patrick Bailey Crumb. Then we got a Trent uh, DeVoe versus Bowman Crumb. Our papers are Taron uh, Vavra, Emerson Hancock, and Kate Cavalli. So... That Cabrian Hayes is a very nice card there. We're going to have to sleeve that up after this break. Let's do our other Bowman pack, uh, our Bowman Heritage from 2020. If you have to pull an auto in this, I know you can get them, though. That would be really cool to pull an auto out of here. And we'll see if we can get those. So there's a guy that's just absolutely fire. Glad I did not give up on him like a lot of people did. Uh, held on to his cards, and for good reason. Shohei Otani, just a beast. Grayson Rodriguez, Leody Tavares, Shane Bieber. Joe Adele, Nolan Gorman, Bruce Dahl Gratterall, rookie, and there are Chromes. We got Leody Tavares and Reese Hines, and we finish with a paper Aaron Ashby. So nothing really crazy in that pack either, unfortunately. Let's do our Stadium Club Chrome. I guess we'll do the two Chrome packs. So beautiful photography of Stadium Club meets the Chrome finish with this product. Love the stuff. Stadium Club for 2021 came out recently. Steam Club Chrome will be coming out uh, a little later here, I believe, in the summer, early fall. Brandon Nimmo, Dale Murphy, cool looking old school card there. Some backwards cards in the center. This one, then probably a refractor in front of it. 
Max Scherzer and Jose Rodriguez. It's going to be a refractor. No auto, but a refractor rookie. We'll take that. Pretty cool look and design there. Kenta Maeda. And last but not least, ooh, that's the best card, definitely, of that pack. The Babe. You know, it's tough to argue uh, with the Babe not being the best card in any pack. So nice Babe Ruth to end that one with. Let's do our other Chrome pack, and then we'll do all the flagship. 2020 Tops Chrome. Only four cards in here. It's a hobby pack, though. Find one of the autos. It's like 1 in 12, I think, roughly, for uh, you know pulling an auto out of here. Let's see what we can do here. So we got an Andres Munoz rookie card. One Soto. Edwin Rios rookie refractor. Those are not numbered. Those are refractors, if you're wondering. And our last card is a Rug Rogelio Armenteros rookie card. So there you go. Nothing really crazy there. All right, flagship stuff. I think we'll probably go with the one I'm least excited about, 2020 update. Randy Arizarena is probably your definite driving force behind update really the uh, main rookie by far to look for in there but i'm looking for the well not the auto because uh in a hobby box it's normally a relic that's found in there but uh let's see what we can get so billy hamilton he'll get a nice short print or something like that photo variation albert pujols uh, and chris sale kyle crick Pujols again and we got a decades best mike schmidt for the 80s Jake DeGrom, the Polar Bear and Squirrel. You know, the Polar Bear, Pete Alonzo, and all rise for the judge there on the end. So nothing crazy there unless I missed, like I said, a short pin or something. All right, let's do Series 1 followed by Series 2. Quite a bit of rookies. That, uh, a lot of anticipation for Series 1 and Series 2, and then a lot of that anticipation has sort of fizzled out. The You know, they're not coming to form just yet for a lot of collectors, so some people are giving up on a lot of the players, but uh, got to give them a little bit of time to kind of come into their own. Mike Clevenger, Alex Bregman, Jesus Lizard, Jesus Lizardo, Christian Javier, rookie, Brandon Woodruff, Cody Whitley, rookie card, Mike Yastrzemski, Jesus Sanchez, rookie. We do got maybe a rainbow foil, it looks like. Patrick Corbin, that's a pretty cool one. Rainbow foil for the White Sox there. Do it for the fans. Do it for the cutouts. Pretty cool looking there. You know, that's probably one to actually kind of maybe hold on to. That'll be cool down the road when you look back at the uh, you know, the events of the last year and stuff like that. Chris Archer, Yankees team card, Ben Attendee, and John Gray. All right. Next up, Series 2. Looking for Brian Hayes, like we were just talking about. Jake Cronworth would be another pretty good pull, at least for me. I mean, there's others, but those are probably the main two that I would hunt personally. Yandy Diaz, and maybe another Rainbow Foil. It actually looks like Nick Castellanos having a heck of a year. Jordan Hicks. Cologne, we got a rookie card right there as we flip that around. Wilson Contreras, or I'm sorry, William Contreras. I'm so used to saying Wilson Contreras. Trevor Story, flip it around for Hinjin Ru. Jason Hayward, our rainbow foil. It's a rookie. It's a Raphael Marchand. So there you go, rainbow foil. Those are not numbered, for anybody that was wondering. DH debuts, Bryce Harper. Interesting, doesn't he hear debuts? Pretty cool. I pulled any of that subset yet, to be honest. Gregory Polanco, Indians team card, Mariners team card, and Red Sox team card. So nothing too, too crazy there. A little foil rookie, I'll take that, in that uh, DH debut. So, yeah, I'm actually glad I saved these five for the end uh, because these were the five that I was actually most sort of anticipating. I might just do these in reverse chronological order, in all honesty, uh, and see what we can get. So let's start with 2016 Series 2. See what we can get in these. Hopefully, you get uh, I don't know, just something big out of these five packs. Let's get something big. So, Mike Fultanowicz, Chris Archer, Michael Lorenzen, Jaime Garcia, Gene Segura. There, as we do our first top slip in this one. Dominic Brown. Then we got a Wrigley Green Monster. I think it is. Oh no, no, totally wrong there. It is Wrigley, but uh, Wegman Field. There you go. Look at that old school picture. That's actually pretty cool. I do like that. That's pretty cool. Then we got a Bunt 16 digital insert, whatever thing there. I'm sure that code is bad, but if you want it, take it, do what you want with it. DD Gregorius, uh, James Shields, and Cody Allen. And call me crazy, but I don't think we hit any rookies in that pack unless I missed it. 2015 Series 1. 
Come on. Let's get something. Just need one big card. One big card. All right, Corey Kluber. Oop, a little bit of stickage there. Ryan Howard. Nationals team card there. Adrian Beltre. Getting into the meat of where something will be if we have something in this pack. Pretty cool looking Paul Konerka. Pretty cool looking photo there. I don't think that's a short print. There's no way that's a short print, but who knows? So let's check. 61. Let's grab that Corey Kluber and check the back of that just to make sure. Yeah, it's 61. So no short print on that. Flip around there. Fernando Mania begins. Yeah, Fernando Valenzuela. Look at that. Dodgers uh, debut April 9th, 1981. That's pretty cool. Not seeing that card there. That's pretty cool. All right, Yonder Alonso. Lots of flips in this one. Oh, nice Bryce Harper early in his career. Not his rookie, obviously, but uh, very early in his career. Bryce Harper, probably the best one there. Carl Crawford and Madison Bumgarner. So that Bryce Harper is definitely the best card of that. All right, let's turn it back even further. It's 13, Series 2. Look at who's pictured on there. Be hunting some trot here pretty soon. Some 2011 update we'll get to here in the near future. Some plans for that on this channel. All right, Gregor Blanco starts us off. I think we have a gold maybe in here. J.D. Martinez, based on that border, that is. Ryan Madsen. Uh, Michael Kudya. Well, you can already see what it is. Look at what? Congratulations. The Million Dollar Chase. What is this? Unlock players, select your hitter, chase prizes. I feel like this has to be an insert in every pack. Or is this something that was really hard? I, I doubt it. Yeah, it just unlocks an opportunity to do this and that, whatever. There's the uh, code if anybody wants this. I guess that's... Uh, the congratulations is what throws me off there, but I assume this is just an insert in every pack. And there is that gold Alex Avila. That should be out of 2015. We'll flip that over and ver... Or, I'm sorry, 2013. That's right, we're on 13 now. There you go, 214 of 2013. Andrew Warner, rookie card... Flipping around again, Lou Marson, Jason Hamill, and C.J. Wilson. So nothing really crazy there as much as that kind of money-looking card faked me out. Let's do, whoops, got that in reverse, 2008 Series 2. Really turn back the clock now before we end with that 03 Series 2 pack. Let's see what we get in this one. Nice design there for Fred Lewis. Hanley Ramirez, Pat Burl, Alex Cora, Nick Punto, Joe Borowski, Aaron Rowan, the checklist. Uh, actually, the, I'll tell you, the checklist, I know it doesn't have the vintage stock thing and all that stuff, but it's got that vintage feel to it. It's definitely a different type of card stock. I mean, I'm sure it's common, but still, it's just a different feel there. Case and Gabbard, Jason Schmidt, and Charlie Manuel. Manager card. That's pretty cool. You don't see those too often anymore. All right, last pack, guys. Let's get some last pack mojo. 03 Series 2. I'm going to assume this is probably a hobby pack, even though it's not labeled that. Everything else has been a hobby pack to this point. So let's see if we can get something crazy out of here. I'm not holding my breath, but it'd be really nice to end big. Tough to see the names. You'll have to trust me maybe on some of these. Jose Hernandez. There's a nice looking one. First year card. I like the way they do this. Jose Contreras. I like that little stamp right down there. I'm trying to let you guys see that as much as I can. First year card there of Jose Contreras. Jake Peavy. Flip her around there. Rafael Soriano. Sporting News All-Stars. Jeff Kent. Pretty cool. Gold Glove winner. Scott Rowland. There's a heck of a player. Barry Bonds. Wow. I forget what year we're in. Holy smokes. Uh, he reminds me. This is old school, huh? Bud Smith. Dimitri Young, and last but not least, oh, another first-year rookie draft pick of Evil, Bastida Martinez. Pretty cool-looking draft pick card. Oh, I like the design of this. Oh, I don't even know if I've ever opened any uh, O3 in my life, to be honest. So not bad. I mean, we didn't pull anything monster. I mean, quite honestly, guys, that... Uh, oh, it's in here. I'm going to sleeve it up after. It's going to be right... Yeah, that Bryce Harper from, uh, what, 2015, I think that was. Yeah, Bryce Harper from 2015, and in all honesty, the other real big hit, at least in my opinion, unless I missed something, that rookie of the year favorite is actually from uh, Bowman, Cabrian Hayes. 
that rookie, and then the uh, the auto, which was kind of guaranteed because they gave it to us, the Taylor Guerrero. So not the best month this month as far as our luck goes, but that happens. It's the luck of the draw most times. Still fun break. Definitely going to stick with the Grand Slam card club here still for a while. Uh, once again, guys, that code is GROWIN, G-R-O-W-I-N, and the number one, GROWIN1. Get you 5% off your first order if you guys want to plug that in there and try uh, your luck at one of these sub boxes with them. I will put the links in the description to their page, their website, and all that stuff like that. If you check it out, let me know. I'm curious what you guys might pull or what your packs were and stuff like that or what level you went with, things like that. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys, as always, in the description below. You guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, a great night, wherever you all are at, and we'll see you next time.